Okay, so I want to do a quick video. Uh, I wanted to see what my BMW 550i, uh, I got a manual six speed, uh, what it would do on zero miles um, when you, practically when you run out of gas. So join me for the ride. Um, I'd like to share the information and for the first, try to figure it out for myself because sometimes I'm running late and uh, you don't have time to fill up, you just got to make it. So uh, join me for the ride. So So as you can see on the screen, it's right now, uh, range is seven miles. Um, and we'll see how far it goes. I'll, I'll restart my meter back to zero as soon as it hits zero. Uh, but until then, I'll just, uh, just start driving. So my average consumption, just for people that might be interested, my average consumption is 14.8 uh, miles per gallon. And I'm guessing, my guess is it's gonna be around uh, 14, uh, maybe a little less, uh, but we'll find out. So here we go. While we're driving, I uh, wanted to talk to you about just a little bit about how I got this BMW. Uh, for those people that are interested, I got it from New Jersey. Um, it's a pretty nice car. Um, there's a few things that I uh, don't like about it. And mostly it's because it's so big. I used to have a ZHP uh, 3 Series and it was much more fun to drive just because how zippy the car was. And this one uh, really isn't. It's still a really powerful car, but the problem is, is that it's so big and it feels like you're uh, trying to drift a or, or take an SUV around the corner. It's just it just feels really really big and for those that like that experience of just fast acceleration um, I would definitely go with maybe a 3 series maybe a 2 uh, like an M2 those are pretty nice uh, but definitely uh, you'd like to it's a good idea to just go with a smaller car so so right now we're at it's kind of jumpy I'll maybe try to steady it a little bit it's at 4 miles a gallon and it all depends on how you drive I'm going to be driving just like I am uh, all the way up to the point where it hits zero and just like anybody once it hits zero you're going to try to drive as conservative as possible and that's what I'll try to do um, I'll try not to accelerate too fast or or just coast in some areas and I'll be uh, going uh, on a road kind of like a highway and I'll take my phone off the speedometer just for a moment just so I can show you what the road conditions look like uh, in the meantime so at right, one mile and as soon as it hits one mile or at zero I'm gonna reset the clock all right here it is zero okay so I reset my my range and let's see how far and I'm gonna try to be very very careful on how I drive uh, to conserve the gas as much as possible. So we'll just kind of see. And I hope it doesn't screw up my car. <laughs> I would really hate to pay for the repairs. I can do a lot of them myself, but man, I would really hate to pay for the repairs on this car. So I'll show you kind of uh, the road, like I've mentioned, uh, since we just started on exactly kind of what, where I'm driving and what it looks like. It's just a general highway. Um, and I think the speed limit here is anywhere from, uh, it goes through towns, but anywhere from 45 to uh, 60. So uh, I think that's, that's a good road to test that on. All right, so here we go again. Consumption miles per gallon improved a little bit just because I'm driving a little bit more careful uh, than I usually do, and I'm at 14.9. Uh, uh, you can jump that here on the screen here. It's so at 14.9, but if we go back here, we're back to zero. Hard 
trying to do this at the same time. I'm driving and kind of holding my phone in place so it doesn't shake as much. So forgive me for the little bit shaky footage. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's not a it's not a bumpy road. It's it's not as rough. Uh, but that's just kind of how it looks like. So I'm gonna go right back. See if we can get a couple more. I'm getting close here. Uh, it's still it's still driving just fine. No problems. <laughs> this is crazy. I didn't think it was gonna last this long. 14.2 miles. Still going. I got all fours. Four, 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 four. 18.1 miles. There's a lot of stop signs here. I'm going to try to get off this main road here. Okay, so 18 miles. So we're still doing good. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. 26 miles on zero. On zero gas, technically, according to the display. Unbelievable. It's gotta be running out of gas by now. I think that if I stop this car and turn off the ignition, I would not be able to start it. I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'll just drive it till it runs out. 28 miles, still going. Still going, <laughs> 28 miles. And I'm not filling up the car when you're not seeing or something like that. This is for real. This is, this is the real test. How far can I drive on my 550i? Just taking it easy, uh, driving it, trying to conserve as much gas as I can. I'm obviously not going five miles an hour. I'm going just like speed limit, but I'm trying to be careful on how I accelerate and uh, decelerate. So. Since the light turned on to get gas, I've already driven 60 miles. That just tells you how much gas is still left in your car after uh, you do this. So.
34.6 miles. And I'm driving like highway speeds. Oh, 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 okay, there it is. It says drive, train malfunction, my car is dying. All right, 35 miles, all right, it's dying. So here it is, maximum driven outfit available. So that little screen went off. We got a check engine light in the car. It died. All right. So this, so this is it. 35.2 miles. I'll try to start it here. Yeah, it won't start. And it shows me this thing right here. So that's what happens when you run out of gas. So now I'll just jump back in, fill it up, <laughs> and now you know, this is what it takes for it to completely die. <laughs> a lot further than I expected. I, I was really surprised, um, but let's fill it up and get back on the road. All right, so I ran out of gas and let's fill this thing up here. Let's get my jug of gas here. Okay. Uh, there we go. All right. It's kind of weird filling up this car on the side of the road though, but uh, we'll do it. So that's what it takes uh, to completely run out of gas. And I'll just uh, have to set my phone down um, and start refilling. So, All right, so we're all filled up and we're ready to go back. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This is the 550 and let's, uh, let's see if this baby starts. All right, we're back in. Uh, here it is, 35.2 miles. Check engine lights blinking. Let's see if we can start this thing. It starts. It's alive, it's a little shaky. A little rough, running a little rough. I think it's try, trying to get some gas into the system here. Uh, drive malfunction. All right, let's try to start it again. But it does start. All right, and now it's it feels normal. It's not it's not running a rough anymore. It still shows zero, um, but it's not running rough anymore. So here it is, we got 15.8 miles to a gallon, still showing zero, and I'm going straight to the gas station because I don't want to have this happen again. I got a little bit of gas and I don't have a backup anymore. So here we are, we're driving back. So my GoPro did die, uh, so I'm filming on my phone. Uh, but yeah, here you have it. Um, so here it was, that's how it is when you, uh, when you run out of gas on a 550i, you get 35.2 miles to the gallon. And I did not expect that at all. I figured it's going to be around like 15, uh, but it's, it was much more. Uh, but let me know if you want me to make another video of a different car. And I'll, be, I'll love to experiment and see how far I can push the limits on the car. So stay tuned for more, more videos. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and I'd love to talk to you in the comments below. Have a great day. So after I filled up, all the messages went away, as you can see on the dash. So I guess it has to do with once one thing goes, a bunch of other things start lighting up on the dash. But I uh, just filled up, um, just put enough gas in there for now. Uh, but yeah, everything's fine with the car. Uh, so don't worry about your car breaking down. So far, it's so good. I just wanted to give you that one last update before I, I sign off. All right, have a great day.